Past tenses explanations basic contrasts. Past simple, what happened, and past continuous, what was happening. Past simple generally refers to completed actions, I got up, switched off the radio, and sat down again. Habits every day I went to the park. States in those days, I didn't like reading. Past continuous, progressive, generally refers to actions in progress, often interrupted by events. I was drinking my coffee at the time. While I was opening the letter, the phone rang. Background description in narrative. I entered the office and looked around. Most people were working at their desks, but Jane was staring out of the window and pretending to write something at the same time. Changing states. The car was getting worse all the time. One of the headlights was gradually falling off, and the engine was making more and more funny noises. Repeated actions. Criticism. With a frequency adverb, this use is similar to the use of present continuous to express annoyance. When Jane was at school, she was always losing things. Past continuous is not used to describe general habitual actions, without the sense of criticism mentioned above. Past simple is used for this meaning. When I lived in London, I walked through the park every day. Past perfect simple, what had happened, and past perfect continuous, what had been happening. We use the past perfect when we are already talking about the past, and we want to go back to an earlier past time, double past. By the time I got to the station, the train had left. Compare this with, the train left five minutes before I got to the station. When we talk about a sequence of past events in the order that they happened, we more commonly use the past simple, especially with quick, short actions. Past perfect continuous, progressive. The same contrasts between past simple and past continuous, see previous section, can be made in past perfect verb forms for events further back in the past. I had been living in a bed sitter up to then. While I had been talking on the phone, Jimmy had escaped. The whole place was deserted, but it was obvious that someone had been living there. They'd been cooking in the kitchen for a start, and they hadn't bothered to clear up the mess. Past perfect is also common in reported speech. Past perfect is not used simply to describe an event in the distant past. Used to and would. Used to. This often contrasts with the present. The contrast may be stated or understood. I used to go swimming a lot, but I don't now. The negative form is either. I didn't use to or, used not to, rare for some speakers. Would. This is used to describe repeated actions, not states. It describes a habitual activity which was typical of a person. Every week he'd buy his mother a bunch of flowers. Used to would also be possible here. Compare. I used to like cowboy films. Would is not possible here. Would is more common in written language and often occurs in reminiscences. Unfulfilled past events. These describe events intended to take place, but which did not happen. I was going to phone you, but I forgot. I was thinking of going to Italy this year, but I haven't decided. I was about to do it, but I started doing something else. Jack was to have taken part, but he fell ill. The contrasting past event is often understood, but not stated. How are you? I was going to phone you, but I didn't. Polite forms. These are common with wonder. I was wondering if you wanted to come to the cinema. See modals, past and present for comment on this.
See present perfect for contrasts between past simple and present perfect verb forms. Past verb forms are also used to express unreal time. 